everybody it's Donna Doodlebug Stitcher welcome to my channel and happy New Year's Eve today is Monday December 31st I'm squeaking this one in just before the ball drop it's about four o'clock here on the East Coast my husband is on his way home with our annual um, Chinese food feast um, and we're gonna get in our jam we're gonna have dinner and get in our jammies and relax a bit and hopefully stay awake for the ball drop um, but I wanted to get this one in before the end of the year um, so thank you so much for joining me today um, so to my faithful viewers thank you so much um, you have been a blessing in my life in 2018 and I am thankful and grateful for you and look forward to all of the um, outrageousness that life can bring in 2019 and that I get to share it all with you so thank you so much for joining me and to new viewers if you're new to my channel thank you so much for joining me you will get to know me um, you know feel free to binge watch my old videos you'll see how crazy life is um, it's chaos right now as you can see the house is still decorated for Christmas um, the ornaments will probably come off the tree tomorrow or during the week, but the tree itself will come down uh, next weekend. Um, and then I'll get all my Christmas stuff put away and figure out what I have to put out. Um, I have a lot of stuff up on the walls, so I have to figure out new artwork and lay layouts and things like that. And I don't have a lot of my stitching pieces framed, so I can't really put them up. Um, so we'll figure something out. Um, in the meantime my hair is looking a hot mess sorry it's raining like cats and dogs I said to McKenna earlier today because she's still off from school I said to her it's raining kitties and poppies outside meaning the dog um poppy come here babe she's in the hallway poppy come here oh here you come barreling through she's little she's a little damp because she went outside but I know I know you're so excited I, oh, oh, thank you. So, see? You're going to say hello to everybody? Say Merry Christmas. Say Happy New Year. There she is. Who's this, Poppy? Who's this? Who's that on the screen? Okay. You can sit in my lap or you can just play, but don't go in the bedrooms. Hey, McKenna? Can you make sure the bedroom doors are closed and so and also the bathroom? The dog likes to go into when she's loose and we're occupied with other things like if we're talking or we're watching TV she likes to go wandering through the house and I've caught her in the bathroom written through the magazine rack and the toilet paper have you seen those commercials with the cats for the toilet paper that's Poppy Poppy has decided that you know in some ways she's a cat so you have to kind of lock her out of certain areas okay stop Yes, this is mommy's. So I worked earlier today, and then I had to go and run errands because I had to go to the bank. I had to go to two different banks. I had to drop off a package at um, at UPS to send back to um, Amazon. It was something that uh, was damaged on Christmas, and they sent me a replacement. So I just sent them back the original that was damaged. So I got that out today. Sit down, you're just wild child. Stop. Urgh. You, you'll probably hear her growling at her toys. Are you going to come here and sit? Come here and sit? Okay, chase your tail then. Okay. Anyway, it's a stitching channel, so let's talk about some stitching. So, when I last saw you last week, I talked about how much I, in pain I was and how I was trying to, like, just muddle through and get through things. Um... I ended up on Christmas Eve, so Monday was Christmas Eve, and I was busy with prepping that, and then we went to Christmas Eve dinner at my cousin's house, and we were only there for like two and a half hours, and we had to leave, because I, so, I was in so much pain, I was wincing, and Jeff knew that I was in pain, and we were sitting at one of the tables. Um, they have, they have like, you can like eat in the living room or eat in the family room or there's a table in the kitchen like it's like a big great room so there's like a table in the kitchen area and we usually kind of settle ourselves right there and so Jeff and I were sitting together and 
I must have looked like I was like wincing in pain, which I probably was. And he was like, are you okay? And I was like, I, I said, I'm in so much pain right now. So we made our, you know, made our goodbyes and, um, and thanked everybody for the gifts and um, made our way home. And then, um, you know, got McKenna settled in for the night and then prepped for Santa coming. And I was in so much pain that night that I ended up um, going ahead and taking one of my Vicodin. Um, I've been hoarding my Vicodin because I had that from when I was um, still doing my chemo. And so I was wanting to only use that in extreme cases and, and this warranted an extreme case. Um, and then Christmas Day, we woke up. McKenna slept until past eight o'clock. She didn't want to get out of bed. So we, she finally got up and then we did presents and everybody loved their presents. And I'll talk about, I got some stitchy things, so I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, and then we kind of just hung around the house and my mom, we originally were gonna to go to my mom's house, but then we ended up, my sister, there were some last minute changes to the plans on Christmas day. And so my sister ended up going to my mom's uh, stopping at my mom's house and loading the presents into the car for my mom and then she just came down here for dinner and then Jeff unloaded the car and then we opened presents and had dinner and dessert and all that stuff and watched um, the Christmas Chronicles um, which my mom and I love McKenna's just like meh um, Poppy stop I know she keeps bothering you but close your bedroom door and then she won't bother you um, so anyway, so we did that. So again, took Christmas Eve was still in, in a lot of pain or Christmas day was still in a lot of pain. So Christmas night took another Vicodin, in and then I got up on Wednesday and called the doctor's office and I said, I need to get in to see you right away. So they were able to get me in on Thursday morning to see a nurse practitioner and I went in and saw her. And sure enough, it is what we thought it was. And I've torn um, a, a lot of my abdominal muscles from coughing so much. So she put me on some Zyrtec, over the, uh, not over the counter Zyrtec, but prescription strength Zyrtec to kind of help with the congestion and the drainage so that I'm not coughing, um, which is, it, it worked the first day. I couldn't believe it. And then she also gave me a new prescription for the Vicodin. Um, by me not coughing so much, allows my the muscles to heal. Um, so I'm still in pain throughout the day because you know who can't unless I'm immobile. You know they they like strap me down and immobilize me. There's no way that I can be absolutely still. So I'm basically. Um, having to still take the pain medication, but um, it is it is doing its job. It's just gonna be a slow and steady wins the race. So that's what my week has been like um, on, if you follow me on Instagram on Saturday, you saw me post a, a boat ton of pictures because we went to um, a local historic mansion here in Delaware um, called Winnetor. And it's one of the family homes of the DuPont family. If you don't know them, Google them. Um, this was the summer estate um, or country estate of Henry DuPont um, and his family. Um, and it, he inherited the property from his uh, family and in the latter part of his life. And so he turned it um, he was an avid collector of Americana craft. And so um, the house is just full of these gorgeous antiques. Um, we're talking like 1700s to um, early 20th century. And at the holidays, they decorate the house um, for the Yuletide. And so I wanted to go, we were gifted a membership to Winneter this year by my sister and her family. So we were able to go to Winnetar for free um, with our membership and do the tour for free. Um, and Jeff had to work, so I took McKenna. And McKenna was kind of bored. She's not, she's a little too young for museums. Um, 
I kind of force her because <laughs> yeah, the mommy's favorite thing to do in the entire world besides cross stitch is to go to museums. And so we went and she was upset because there are gardens where she can run around and play, but it was just really cold that day. So we couldn't do the, the gardens. Um, so I tempted her with uh, something from the gift shop and we got pizza from a local um, pizza restaurant. It's called Pizza by Elizabeth's. All their pizzas are named, by fam named after famous Elizabeth's. McKenna gets the Barrett Browning, which is a plain cheese pizza. Um, my husband got the Montgomery, um, Elizabeth Montgomery, AKA Bewitched. Um, and that has like spicy sausage and garlic and stuff like that. And he loved it. And then I got to make your own and it had crab, crab meat and shrimp on it. It was really good. Um, anyway, we did that on Saturday and then yesterday we just kind of vegetated cause it was really, it was cooler. Um, and I just sat and stitched most of the day. And then today I worked, ran errands and now here we are. So let's talk about stitching. Um, I talked about wanting to finish this by Christmas Eve. That did not happen with all the pain I was in. Um, it just wasn't feasible. Um, so I did finally finish the January, oh, what is this? It came off of one of my fabrics and stuck to the package. So I did finally finish the January of A Year of Celebrations, and I will show it to you now. I don't have my board. I'll just use this mailer. We'll just use the mailer. So that is the January, and it really turned out really nice. I really like the way it, it turned out. Um, my goal was to have finished it so I could put it out tomorrow and get that done. So, you know, we're a little behind on everything a little bit. Um, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> That's all I said. And then I started, I'll show this bag to you a little bit later because this was a, a Christmas gift to myself. But so... My, I was then going to start on Christmas Day my um, Blackbird Designs Winter Delivery. Sorry for the glare. Ooh, we got some serious glare going on there. Let me do it sideways. There we go. So. So I started working on that. So instead of getting starting on that on Christmas Day, I didn't start on it until Thursday when I got home from the doctors. And so I did do a little bit on Thursday, a little bit on Friday, hardly a uh, little bit Saturday morning before we went to the museum and then all day yesterday. And so this is where I have gotten to. Oh, hello. I need that backing again. So that's how much I've gotten done. I really, really love how it looks. I really, really love this fabric. So, and I did the border first, and I was like, fingers crossed, praying that it all matched up, and it did. So I was, you know, extremely proud of myself for that. Um, so that's really what I've been working on this week. Um... I will talk about um, my stitchy Christmas gifts. So one of the things that, and I showed it, I, it's hard for me to show you now because it's kind of tucked in the corner across from me. Um, my husband got me a Brightech, um, it's called the Lightview Pro LED lamp and it's a magnifying lamp. It magnifies 175 times. Um, I believe it's 175 yeah it's 175 magnification and it has both um, warm tone and cool tone um, LED lights that can be adjusted and they're touch adjust and then it um, it has the lid that opens that you can uh, stitch through so, but it's on wheels which is the one I wanted and um, 
we had he had a really hard time finding it and um, ended up getting it from um, a seller on eBay um, because apparently nobody had it like Amazon didn't have it in stock and Bright Tech their only retailer for Bright Tech is either them or Amazon and both both um, the manufacturer and Amazon were sold out just before Christmas um, so he knew I wanted it so he went um, he went to the eBay route and found it from a seller and got it for almost half of what it cost retail so and it was brand new it was still in the box um, never been opened so stop it um, so that was um, a nice stitchy gift from my husband and then he also got me some Ray Dunn a lot of the pieces I've already used so they're in the kitchen but I did want to show like he got me the square casserole dish that has the red chalk and it says home for the holidays um, and I used that on Christmas Day and then he also got me one that says that's a little bit larger it's not a perfect square it's a little bit larger and it says tis the season inside of it and he got me um, a butter dish um, which I have a Christmas butter dish, but I didn't have an everyday butter dish. And so he got me that. Poppy, stop. Um, and then he also got me this, which is the sugar bowl. Which I was super excited for. And then I had to go to, I'll show you this now. I had to go to um, Home Goods to return something. So when I did the return, and then um, I, right before we left, I said to McKenna, I said, let's go through and see if we can find any Ray Dunn. And so I asked a couple people, and they said, well, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's usually scattered all over the place. And so we went through different aisles and couldn't find any. And then the last aisle we went through, there were two Christmas pieces. So I asked her, I said, well, everything else Christmas is clearance. I said, is this one clearance? And she said, hold on, and I'll, and I'll check. And so one was a larger, another square casserole, which I really didn't necessarily want. Um, but then the other one was an oblong loaf pan. And she went and checked, and it, sure enough, it was on clearance for $5. So I wasn't about to leave it there. Um, so I bought it. Is that not cute? It says gingerbread. In red. Five bucks. Five bucks. I was super excited. So I bought that for myself. That was my Christmas, uh, my uh, New Year's Eve gift to myself for five bucks. Uh, hi, Poppy. Yes, I see you. Yes, yes, I know. I know. Um, also for Christmas, my husband, I got new slippers. My husband got me these Ugg slippers, which were, they're super comfy. I don't have them on right now, but they're super, super warm, super comfy. And they have the, um, the nice outdoor sole so that I can like walk out on the front step with the dog on the leash. And then he also, I, I showed this on Instagram. Um, I got one of, um, I think it's Ardith Design. Yeah, Ardith Designs, um, her Needleworkers Notebook. It's called Needleworkers Notebook for Cross Stitch Tarts. And I had seen it and heard her talk about it before. And I thought, well, I'd like that. But they don't really show you on, on Amazon what it looks like inside. Poppy, stop it. What are you trying to do? Here, is this what you want? You want your toy? Here. There you go. Play with that. Sorry. So anyway, so there's double-sided pages. And they all look like this. You can see, you can fill that all out. Super, super nice. So, I was really excited to get that. And then he also, with my help, of course, because I gave him like a list. I'm like, just here, I'll email it to you and you can order it from um, one, two, three stitch, because that's the easiest. So I told him I wanted um, two charts. Well, I gave him two charts, or these two charts. Um, birds and bee, birds, birds and the bees. If I can read by heart and hand, so many of you have already, st already stitched this, and I've been wanting to stitch this. So I now have the chart, and then I can kit it up whenever. And then I also got um, Beggar's Valentine from Threadwork Primitives. 
which is really, really pretty. And then I asked for fabric to go with, to stitch this on. And I didn't want to stitch this on the neutral fabric. I decided that I wanted to stitch it on this. Um, this is called um, Charlotte's Pink. And I believe this is a week's fabric. And it's 32 count. It's really pretty. I just like it. And then I also asked because I wanted to, I, I want to stitch the um, winter ABCs, which I'll show you in a second because I um, was able to get that through a D stash. And so I asked for the fabric that I wanted to um, stitch it on, which is 36 count smoke blue. You can see that there. And so I, they custom cut a piece for it. And then they also sent the scraps. So I'll be able to use those for other projects, which I think is kind of cool. So those were the stitchy gifts from my, from my husband. And then I received, then I talked about, I bought myself a stitchy gift. And this was after Christmas. Um, Gary um, from Garotten Totten Bags, um, he had some project bags for sale. And this one was up and Annie from Crazy Annie, Annie Miller from Crazy Annie's, had claimed it. And so I messaged and I was like, do you happen to have another one in that fabric? Because this is Mary Engelbright fa fabric. And I, when I was like in my 20s, I was totally obsessed with Mary Engelbright stuff. I had stationery and I had wallpaper border, I had dishes, yeah. I was, I was one of those people. Um, so anyway, um, he said yes, and so I bought it for myself, and it came right after Christmas. And it's got cute little polkas, as, as Stephanie would say, cute little polkas, which they're not really polkas, but they are. If you notice, they're like little slashes, but from far away, they look like polka dots. So cute. She, this bag is huge. This fits everything. Um, I have my winter delivery in it along with the chart and the and the flosses and my scissors and my glasses and my ledgy light because I was stitching in bed last night so I had that um, so it's you know really it's awesome where is my pattern at I did have the pattern here just a second ago. Dear Lord, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. I'm telling you that right now. So anyway, it's here somewhere. Poppy, stop. And then I also, on Christmas Eve day, I want to mention this because I got this beautiful card from Teresa um, Albert at Diddly Daddle Designs. Teresa, you were so sweet to send me a card, so thank you so much. And I love this because it looks like a chalkboard, um, which is totally me. So I'm definitely saving this. I'm thinking about even framing this and putting it out framed next year. So thank you so much. And it has glitter all over it, so I'm trying not to touch it because then I'll end up with glitter like in my nose or something. Um, and then I also, just after Christmas, so this was a Christmas gift that I received post-Christmas, I guess. Um, I had just before Christmas, I think it was last week, it was just before Christmas, I had seen a D stash of Prairie Schooler and I missed claiming this by like I don't know a minute and I was like darn and so the per sorry about that the person who claimed it was trying to be stealth and she was like um what's your address and I'm like what I'm like okay here's my address I'm like I don't know so I get this package in the mail and there's an envelope with my name on it and I open it up and it's this cute three-dimensional card 
Is that not adorable? Can you see that? And then this door is like three dimensional. And I open the card and it says, from our home to yours, Merry Christmas. And it says, Merry Christmas from Christy, enjoy. So the person who claimed the chart I was looking for, in turn then had the seller send it to me. Can you, so sweet, so unnecessary, and I'm just very humbled. And so I am now the proud owner of Prairie Schooler book number 29, which is the Christmas miniatures. And this is, this is the original cardstock people. So I'm like super, super excited. I think I'm going to be using this as my mania for 2019 because they're all smalls and it's one chart and I can just start each of them during mania and then hopefully finish them up by Christmas. But I would, I would love to have these as little smalls. Um, I talked about it in a previous video that I have a tiered, um, one of those tiered tin um, trays and so I'd like to have like the these types of things to put in that. So I think that that will be my mania start for 2019. I will make sure to put a note on it to remind myself because you know, April will come around and I'll, everybody will be talking about what they're doing for mania and then I'll be like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do for mania. Forgetting about me saying this on Christmas Eve of 2018. And then I also had gotten and was waiting for it in the mail the winter ABCs, so that'll go with the fabric that I talked about um, that my husband got for me. And then, unbeknownst to me, and I, I say this, this was um, with um, from a pain-induced fog, I bought the raise, this Raise the Roof design twice, twice. So I might be giving this one away in an upcoming video. Um, so that'll be interesting. And then as far as haul, I did place a, um, an end of the year order with um, um, Needlecraft Corner in Baltimore, Maryland. Hi, Dreama, if you're watching. And she was able to get me a bunch of flosses because she runs a really great, if you're ever in, a, in the need for floss, um, she runs really great sales every month on flosses, and I get it for I'm able to get it for like less than two dollars yeah. a skein, and so um, I ordered a bunch of um, gentle arts that I need for different projects and colors that I wanted, and then I also got some classic color works as well. Um, so thank you, Dreama, for those. Those came pretty quickly because I ordered them on Friday. I ordered them on Friday and I got them today. But, you know, Baltimore is not too far away from Delaware. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty realistic. And then lastly, I did get this week. Um, this was, it was a little delayed. Um, but my November floss of the month from, um, Victorian motto they accidentally forgot to ship it to me and then they replaced it so these were the flosses from November and she sent them to me I didn't care about the box so I was like okay sure um, and then I also got my December fabric of the month and my flosses of the month so the fabric is super pretty I don't think there's a name on this. This is 36 count and it's a fat quarter. Um, I got this after I got the other pink that I showed you that my husband got. So I'm pretty much set on pink fabric, I think. Could you be quiet with the dog? Sounds like she's like killing something. Okay, be quiet. Everybody be quiet. And then I got my December flosses of the month. Um, these are the primitive, yeah, these are the primitives. And these are really pretty, they're soft. Um, so 
so I'm sure I can incorporate them into something. This one is really pretty. It's called Antique Embroidery. Real pretty neutral. This I love, this blue. It's called Pioneer Stitcher. This one is called The Dressmaker. This one is called Colonial Stitching. Then I got these. This is Sewing Notion. That one's another pretty one. Vintage Quaker. Gorgeous. This purple is amazing. This is called Quilting Bee. And this brown is called Primitive Stitching. Oh, I'm sorry, Primitive Spinning, like a spinning wheel. Really pretty. And then the last four of this group, Hearthside Stitching. Prairie Stitching. Sewing Bobbins. And Prim Stitcher. So, I am very thrilled with these. Um, and uh, there's stuff going on with um, with Nancy and I won't go into it because it's not my my information to tell but I just if she happens to watch this I just want her to know that I'm really really thinking about her at this time in her life and um, I just you know my prayers my thoughts and prayers are with her so um, and hopefully 2019 will bring a lot, you know, more joy to all of our lives. Oh, and then I also ordered from her more of my whites. So I got 60 yards of winter white and 60 yards of primitive white. Because when I use white, um, I've been leaning towards these versus regular DMC. Um, or even B50, I only use B5200 if I need it to be like pure, pure, like bright, like white. Um, so, so that's it for, um, what, I what 2018 is coming to a close. I, uh, tomorrow, uh, this evening I plan to continue working on a winter delivery um, and get some more stitches in it before I put it away for a little bit. And then tomorrow is the big um, January 1st, New Year's Day um, sales, which are um, Halloween Quaker. And that's um, our stitching group on Floss Tube. So ha Halloween Quaker Sal 2019 um, is the hashtag. And the other is on um, Little House Needleworks, Little House um, and Country Cottage Needleworks Facebook page. And I am um, I chose the winter ABCs to stitch, so that'll be um, the stitching. Those two projects will be what I'm working on in the month of January, along with my February um, year of um, year of celebrations. So there'll be a total of three projects worked on um, during the month of January. So it'll be February, which is right here. I already have the fabric and everything ready to go on that. And then it'll be the Halloween Quaker, which I showed you last week. And then um, Winter ABCs, um, which uh, will be started um, tomorrow. So this one right here. I just have to pull the flosses tonight for it. Um, and I think I decided I'm going to go ahead and use um, for it. Um, I need to look at these two against that blue fabric and decide which one I like better and then that'll be the one that I use um, on this instead of the called for bamboo. So that is it for me. I'm at about 35 minutes so I'm gonna call it a day and call it a year and wish you all the very happiest um, and healthiest of New Year's wishes. Um, if you do go out this evening Please be safe. Please be responsible. Use Uber. Use um, Lyft. Whatever, whatever of those. Um, if you can, stay home. Stay home. That way you don't have to worry about being out on the roads. I've got a bottle of wine chilling in the fridge. 
and I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, so um, we will, I'll be checking back with you um, this coming weekend, the first weekend of January, and hopefully making some progress on those new projects that'll be started. Um, as always, my love and affection to you all for your support and everything. Um, you mean the world to me. Um, again, um, have a happy, happy New Year's Eve and a prosperous 2019. We're going to be in for a roller coaster, I'm sure, and I can't wait to ride along with you. So take care, everyone. Have a good evening and my love to you all. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.